morning. Brian Brenneman with uh, Southern Railways Memphis Division about 1975-ish and I've had a couple of days and, and plus some time to get uh, be down here in the layout room and I've really gotten some more things done that even though I, this last video was not too long ago I'll uh, throw this one together and give you guys an update on what's going on. So got the black paint out and made some differences, you know, changed, threw down some roads, you know, just give them more of an idea of, of what's going on road-wise. Let's see, still kind of um, feeling out exactly how wide roads should be. Again, 1975 roads aren't nearly as wide as they are, you know, in more modern times. Um, so that's that. And and then again, in this area of Alabama, roads even in you know town weren't weren't that wide anyway. Um, so we have the remnants of old you know Sheffield um, yard and, and its facilities. Um, tracking back this way, here's that little spot of a some scenery. This is a Douglas Street in Tuscumbia. And then we used to come into part of town that gets modeled here. I've um, kind of recreated some of the actual houses and stuff um, with poster board and kind of really get a feel for you know what I'm going to have space for. I and mean, there's the wash and wear. There's my little version of it. There's these three houses that are across from the these uh, warehouses and there's a couple of those I still got the one on the left to do here's the warehouses that have been here the whole time every time all these videos now this particular building is new and nearly to scale it sits just just like it well not quite on the road but on this little side road it, it, it really runs right up to it and then this is just a little piece of the next building down the road on 6th Street, I believe. No, take that back. This is Hook Street running right here. Hook Street. So now this little pathway coming right here looks like a ramp up to the railroad. Actually is the original railroad bed. The Memphis, Memphis and Charleston came off this bridge, came down this way, and ran right through the middle of downtown Tuscumbia in its absolute original form. Um, that's why in downtown Tuscumbia, they call it the Fifth Street Station. It still exists. Um, is it, you know, it's a big, beautiful brick station structure. They've built a little replica roundhouse out behind it. Let's have some railroad cars there in downtown. And so when the yard there got, couldn't support operations anymore, they moved the yard out to facility that's over there in um, Sheffield and then this was basically became a big Y so if, if and it looks like it so there's one leg of the Y there's another leg of the Y and then that's the line that ran to the the new yard down there because they still used the station and um, pasture operations were still not in, in effect at that point so this is going to model that red bed coming off of here, it'll just, it'll be, it'll look like this, but this will be just trees and, and bushes and stuff through here. But, you know, it's pretty obvious from anybody that chases trains and everything else. When you see an old rail bed, you recognize it pretty, pretty, pretty handily. So hopefully that'll um, trigger that thought in people's heads when they, when they see it. Um, again, so... So Tuscumbia here, you know, this edge of it is starting to, to look more like it did, uh, or more like it's going to. Um, there wasn't, at least in the in the pictures of stuff I can find right now, right across from this building, there isn't anything, or at least it's far enough back from you know from it you can't it doesn't abut the road here. So eventually there will be a house here. This will probably get trimmed down and have a chunk of a house at least facing this way and then the road will peter out into the, into the woods because in reality it went down kind of made a U and did this so 
be at least one house here, piece of a house here facing that road. This one faces this road. And that'll be, that'll finish that out. Like I said, that third house will go right there. Um, there is a, this on every older photo. It's just an empty lot. And then with trees back towards the railroad, that'll be like that. There is a boarding house that's kind of an L-shape. I don't say boarding house, just a small set of apartments more than anything else. We'll go here. And that'll basically finish out the uh, the area of Tuscumbia off of, this is, uh, like I said, Hook Street. Um, now going back this way. Now, here's where some real new things have happened. So, uh, again, not planning on using the lower deck for anything, but a potentially way in the future, um, there's a spur that runs from the east end of Sheffield Yard up into um, some heavy industry up by the river. Um, so that potentially could be this lower deck. But that's that's so far down the road as to basically go, eh, you know, it may not happen, but just just if we need to. So one of the things I had, I, problems I had was that the curve in this corner was just, sh was sharp. And so, I mean, anything, 86 foot cars, box cars, 2FC, all looked like crap on it. So I have thrown this, pulled this this way. It's gonna give me a little more space for, you know, the, for, again, the, probably one of the, um, between the station in Sheffield, the Chuck of Tuscany right there. And this will be the other spot that I, I model to the, to, or want to look as close to real as possible. So the, you'll get the crossing here with the buildings, you know, next to it. And then a nice broader, much less sharp radius turn coming back down into uh, off the, the little bit of a grade that I put on the layout just to, oh uh, yeah, there's, you know, there is a grade. Um, so we now have a little more space for some foreground. Uh, it's gonna change up probably how this, will be right here, It'll probably be more, probably move over about three inches as the actual crossing. And then it'll actually be able to go disappear into the, into the trees like that does there, into this corner. So that's this corner here in the far west end of Tuscumbia. Um, not a whole lot else is changing, you can still see, um, you know, the, XL and N line of Tuscambia coming across there. The uh, coal train sitting on the, waiting to go into the, um, waiting to go into Pride. But as we come this way, I spent a good chunk of time this morning um, putting some, really, if you remember, this was just some real high, you know, one inch block here. So I really feathered it down using a belt sander. Um, to really bring that edge down to the to railroad level at a, at a much more, um, much less steep of a grade. And so this is the, there'll be a road right through here. You can barely make out that out. It'll get smoothed out with some sandpaper and stuff and come down and run into this road. Um, and there'll be just three, four houses here backing up to the, to the rails. There'll be some houses on the other side and then just trees and stuff behind it. Kind of just, and again, you know, in real life, that's what is actually is right here. Now again, remember in, in the real world, this spur comes off the outside line going this way. But again, you know, my road, my railroad, my rules, um, there will be a little building here facing the road, um, not an industry or anything, just a, just a, but again, modeled after what's in real life. Um, I'm gonna get around the corner here, but again, this just, I just wanted some rising terrain here, even though, I'm, again, in the, in the real world, it's kind of flat and some tree, you know, just to kind of cut this corner off so that, you know, the view from here, if you can imagine when there's houses and trees there, will definitely cut 
what you can see off over that way behind it. So again, really on the end of the neighborhood here, on um, on the all the all the overhead shots, there's definitely a bunch of broad, you know, big hedgerows and stuff like that. And so, if you can imagine, you know, trees and stuff kind of getting, you know, this high, that's really going to cut off that that view of what's behind there from this side of the corner. So that now. Here's where some other real modeling has gotten started here. This is a Fuxco. They make flooring um, products, primarily, I think, industrial floor tiles. Um, so I've hacked together a bunch of old things um, to just kind of initially represent what's going on over here. Um, you see the blue in there of the you know, the pike stuff. You know, really making that out how I want to. A couple of pipes. So they'll get in covered hoppers of, you know, pellets. They'll get in tank cars for chemicals. And then the occasional box car to ship stuff out in, uh, depending on what's going on. There may be another something on this side, but I thinking right now just due to the ability to get in here and, and get to the cars in this on this track and I'm not gonna put anything big right here so I'll leave that like probably end up leaving that but looking very close to what that is just flush out these buildings a little bit and again all these all these white ones are leftovers from other other uh, modeling back in the old in track days um, and this is 6th Street coming into, into town. This is uh, the original crossing where I, according to my grandmother, um, that I really kind of saw a train for the first time at like four years old and, and just kind of went nuts for it. And my grandparents were like, oh, look, he likes trains. And so they would bring me out to watch trains because they could hear him from their house. Something to do, keep this kid interested, you know, do it, you know, something to do with the kid. And uh, that was pretty much what generated this lifelong love of trains for mine. So that's Sixth Street Crossing, comes down. Now here's, um, it's called Robbins Inc., Robbins Industry. Um, on It was rail serve at some point. Um, I've got a piece of flex track just kind of sitting here. It's not plugged into the layout at this moment. Um, just really kind of do I need another industry? But again, you know, now that I've, I've thrown this up here and I'm like, you know, I actually do like it. It does sit in this area. It is prototypically accurate, though I don't know and would have to do some, you know, some interesting digging to figure out if it was still rail served in 1975 or somewhere close to it. But um, in throwing this building up, which is a uh, modified uh, was it George Roberts printing? There's the box from Walters. Basically cut a floor off of it and made it. Took it from a three slash four story building down to a two slash three story building. Just didn't need something that big here. And then used some of the pieces that I cut off to make this little extra, you know, building. Um, this Robbins Inc. is a really kind of a whole hodgepodge of buildings, but it does have a, a really distinctive, um, water tower that's kind of right here in the middle and and again on the in the real world there's another building kind of running this way and then over here there's another building running this way and there's like this courtyard kind of in the middle in some of the earlier sh overhead shots i can see so more than likely this if this gets anything because the turnout ultimately would be right here it's have to be at least be a curved turnout if not something um hand hand laid um so that's you know kind of in a all right down the road it's Definitely a quote down the road thing. I um, definitely don't want to tighten up the curve of this, the radius of this curve anymore. Again, I'm trying to, you know, make sure, make sure my, my curves stay nice and broad uh, just for be able to run two FC and 86 foot cars, which uh, are, you know, are, I'm planning on having make it, you know, regular appearances on here. So we can't have track work that's gonna, uh, you know, make that hard to deal with. Uh, again, just a little more just black for roads and, and parking lots and stuff. There's the shoe fly yard. 
and we're back around to um, the world as we already knew it. So, so again, in in forward thinking, when this actually gets to become a helix, this will, you know, this will be the crossing over Bear Creek somewhere, somewhere in here. And that'll be the bridge that goes over Bear Creek. That'll be. I'll have to probably have to definitely redo the, you know, the bench work there at the time. But hey, when I do, we'll cross that, we'll cross that bridge when we have to. Anyway, so making progress. Um, definitely getting interesting. Um, definitely starting to look more railroady, and uh, starting definitely um, as soon as I get this curve slapped back in, you know, you know, fun, still fun to run some trains on. So. Hope everybody appreciates this. Um, and once again, we'll uh, say goodbye from the Southern Railway Memphis Division, 1975-ish.